Hello, this is a test run of the uh, uh, homemade float system for uh, the evaporator that I've made. Um, for testing purposes, the, uh, the sink, kitchen sink here is the uh, evaporator. And uh, I'm using an old steam table pan as uh, a float. Um, right now it's open at the top. Hopefully no water or anything will get in it, or sap. Um, so the sink is our evaporator, and you can see that the level is uh, right at the tape that I have put on there. And this is the float valve here. Uh, it's connected to the uh, pan, which is like makeshift float, the uh, uh, bolt and a wing nut. And there's a little lever that uh, is hinged on the back with this pin, which is really a uh, fondue fork that I salvaged um, so that everything is stainless and copper and uh, lead free solder, of course. And if you look in, inside, the uh, arm is hinged at the pin and uh, controls a uh, small rubber float that plugs up the half inch copper pipe. Um, and right now I've got it uh, to simulate evaporation. I'm using a piece of tubing that's been siphoning out of the sink and then into my canner, which is kind of a reservoir right now. Um, I've got it going at a rate at about uh, 20 gallons an hour, sort of what we'll see on our 2x6 evaporator. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and add another stream to the uh, water being taken out so the evaporate to uh, simulate a faster evaporation. And you'll see the the uh, the float adjust accordingly. You see now that it's adjusted to a uh, a lot more water to come in, more sap. And all the while maintaining uh, the level of the tape. It's a slightly lower now, but uh, you get the idea. Um, it's going much faster now. Let me go ahead and add another, a third piece of tubing to the siphon. I want them to just turn out. Turn up in here. And a third. Now I've added a third. So this comes out to about a uh, 80 or 90 gallons per hour uh, flow rate now. And you'll see that the uh, flow is keeping up. And the uh, water levels drop a little so that the valve can open more. But it's still maintaining a pretty good level. And that's it for the float. And my second part of this contraption 
is a float system to keep our preheater filled at all times. Uh, this should uh, end the bucket brigade that we've been doing. Um, you see in my reservoir I have a uh, pump and that's the reservoir that the tubes from the sink are coming out into. And uh, pumps up this hose and into our preheater. Um, and from there, it's sort of a similar system. There's a, another restaurant pan with a post to uh, use as a float. You see, as the level drops, or in this case, it's actually filling, um, it pushes a, um, a sump pump switch, which I used a relay to uh, wire it backwards. You could just easily flip it over, but I needed to screw it down somehow. Um, so I just got it going through relay to um, to be open when it, this switch is closed and to be closed when this switch is open. You'll see now if the level drops, the post will pull down on the lever and engage the pump. And at the far end, you'll see the, the pump fill the tank back up. And there it is. And that's the complete system now being tested. Hope you enjoyed it.